does this mean for the millions who rely on the Affordable Care Act? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui breaks it all down for us. Well, good evening, Jeff and Ashley. Yeah, even experts in the insurance industry say there's a lot of questions tonight surrounding that GOP bill. I sat down with one of the executives from Independent Health today. Roberta Rifkin is the senior vice president of government affairs there. Now, it provides coverage for roughly 380,000. And of those members, about 10,000, not including Medicaid patients, qualify under the Affordable Care Act. Rifkin says the new bill still protects patients from being denied coverage from pre-existing conditions and young adults can stay on their parents' plan until they're 26. And those are positive aspects that she says wouldn't change. But she says it lacks detail. One concern is whether a member's subsidies will be less than currently offered. Above all, she says it's too early to know exactly what will stick and what will be changed. This is a starting um, towards repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act. This is a starting point. It's proposed legislation. It has a long way to go before it's signed by the president. It's also important to consider what isn't mentioned. Rifkin says the Affordable Care Act included preventative coverage like cancer screenings, but so far that isn't something identified in the new bill. This new bill obviously having the support of the president. He said late this afternoon he does hope that this passes quickly. We're live in the newsroom this evening. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. Allie, thank you.